All right, welcome to your skill set training course number two, where we're going to deal with nothing other than the tackle. All right, guys, the most important thing about a tackle is you have to do it safely. If you do it safely, you're going to start enjoying it. And only when you enjoy it will you become a good defender and someone who can actually dominate when they tackle. All right, so let's go through our three key factors of tackling. Number one, and this is the most important factor, is your preparation you have to be ready for a tackle so prior to making the tackle before you make the tackle your body and your positioning must already suggest that a you know what you're doing b you enjoy what you're doing and c that you are ready for what's coming now let's have a look i'm going to mark the number one so that you can remember it's key factor number one is preparation have a look at that knee slightly bent his strong foot He's facing forward. His shoulders are tilted a little bit forward. His eyes are looking straight at the target. But most importantly, look at his hands here. His hands are not wide as if he's, you know, about to take off like a lot of the guys stand. His hands are nice and narrow, close to one another. And the reason he does that is to put some power into his shoulders. Remember, this core of your body that's actually the weapon with which you are hoping to strike okay so having your hands nice and close up and close together means you put more power into your shoulders as you listen to this video quickly put up your hands like he's doing and kind of tighten your arms you'll feel how strong your shoulders suddenly become okay so the preparation here is absolutely key just the last word on why he stands with his strong foot forward so that he can pull away quicker it's like you say in bolt he's not going to stand with his weak foot forward he's going to stand with his strong leg forward because it allows him to shoot away quicker in the tackle all right let's have a look let's see our tackle again maybe you guys spot a few things i don't nice one let's go through the whole video and then we are going to look at key factor number two okay key factor number two and I want to take it back to exactly the moment it happens. There we go. Your head always wants to go behind the tackler's body, not in front. Because if you do it in front, you're just going to get injured. So you want to put your head behind his body. If you are, let me quickly do a drawing here. If this is the defender and this is you. And the defender runs that way you always want to go behind him to this side similarly if the defender comes that way you want to go behind him that side not in front and let me show you what happens it actually looks quite horrible when a tackler ends with his leg or his head in front of the ball carrier's legs can you see over there where his head is about to strike the poop on the knee and that is asking to eat soup out of a straw in a hospital bed okay this is when tackling becomes dangerous so it's a very simple thing to remember get your head behind the ball carrier not in front of his knees otherwise this happens you see and that is just pure pain you can also now see prior to him making that tackle his body was upright, so he, somehow, he wasn't ready for this tackle. He wasn't prepared, he didn't have his strong foot forward, he wasn't in that position to make his body a weapon, and from there everything went wrong. So that's why your preparation is so important. But back to our main video here, we're going to go through key factor number three. Let me just show you that tackle again. This is something I think I missed. Oh, there is something I missed. That's on key factor number two already. And let me just mark it for you. There's a nice spot. Key factor number two, as I said, is your head being behind the ball carrier, not in front. But key to key factor number two, it almost sounds like a rap song, is that you want to wrap your arms around the ball carrier. Yeah, everything just falls into place today. Everything I say kind of leads to something else. It's kind of cool. Should, should put a little bit of a beat to this video but as you can see there right so the head is on the right side behind the ball carrier and his arms 
are clutching together. As soon as your hands touch one another behind a ball carrier, there's no way you can run with the ball. It doesn't matter what size he is. Okay, so it's just technique. You never have to be scared of a tackle. Just focus on your technique and everything will be fine. And that moves us then to key factor number three. Let's have a look at our video. This is the part that the people sometimes kind of forget and coaches forget is to get back into the game. As you can see there, once he made the tackle, he didn't lie down, have a little bit of a of a milkshake on the couch, played a bit of Fortnite. He got straight back onto his feet because he wanted to be part of play. Let me show you there again why this is so important. Two reasons. Number one, the laws of rugby state that you have to release the ball carrier as soon as you tackle him to the ground. Sometimes even while you're having, he hasn't even gone to ground and the referee will shout release, which means you have as the tackler have to release the ball carrier. But crucially as well, if you stand up from the ground, you not only release the tackler, but you are also ready for what's coming next. So say this guy on the ground managed to pop the ball to another ball carrier and he came into this channel, you could have just shifted because you're back on your feet, you're ready for the tackle. Okay, so just memorize this. You are not much worth or not much of not much good lying on the floor watching the game. It's always better to be on your feet playing the game. Right, does that make sense? I surely hope so. Now, just to recap, let's go back so that we can memorize those three steps. Your preparation is absolutely key, number one. Number two, the head position and the clutch. As you can see there, the head is behind the ball carrier's body and the arms are clutching nicely together. That is key factor number two. And key factor number three, this is no time to watch rugby. This is a good time to play rugby. Get back on your feet so that you can become part of the defense once more. Okay, so now we're just going to go through a few exercises you can do at home. Let me just take this back a little bit. I actually want to get these guys kind of out of the screen. But anyway, again, you're going to take a tree. Say this dude is a tree or a drum, something that's kind of immovable. Are you going to stand in front of it? You're going to get your prep right. So first say to yourself, key factor number one, my prep. Strong foot forward, knees slightly bent, arms close together and kind of narrow, eyes looking at the target, hunched over so that there's power in my shoulders, I'm a machine, I'm a tackling machine, I'm not just standing here to train in the backyard, okay, so your prep, number one, number two, if you're going to approach the tree from the left hand side, put your head back there on the left, if you're going to approach the tree from the right hand side, Put your head, oh, no, difficult for me to draw it, kind of back, but on that side. Your head is never allowed to be in front of the tree. And I'm sure if you find a nice big tree to tackle, it's going to make a lot of sense. You don't want to have your head in front of the tree, rather behind it with your shoulders nice and cushily touching it. Now what you can do is once you've made the tackle, you've got your prep right, you've got your head on the right side, you've got your arms wrapped around the tree like there so that you can kind of tick the box off of key factor number two now you want to fall to the ground and stand back up again okay down and up again so then you got your three key factors your prep your head position and arms and you stand up straight away I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, guys. Tackling is going to become so much fun because it's really not that hard. We must stop looking at how big the guy is that's about to run to us. All we need to remember is our techniques. Prep our body to become a tackling machine. Go up nice and close. Get your head behind the tackler so that you're nice and safe. Clutch your arms around so that he falls to the ground. And as soon as you fall, boop, you're up like a flash and you're part of the defense again. Alright, that's skill set rugby, lesson number two, tackling, done.